This is my 2018 Audi R8 RWS, and I love this car. It's such a fantastic, daily drivable supercar, mid-engine, naturally aspirated V10, 7-speed dual clutch, some great tech and luxury features, but there's a big, actually two big issues from the factory. The first one I fixed. From the factory, the R8 sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It's way too quiet. I have fixed that with a B-Rogue built titanium exhaust, which you'll hear in a moment on Cold Start. The second issue we're addressing today. But with that, let's start the car up first and uh, head to work. There's a stock exhaust just chilling in the garage. Now a cold start with the titanium exhaust. Again, apologies to all my neighbors. Baby revs. Kind of have to. We arrived at Dynamic Detail Egg. <laughs> so the car hasn't been washed in way too long, and it's, I mean, it actually looks okay on the camera, but if you get close to it, the R8 is absolutely filthy. Look around back here. So it's gonna get washed. Dynamic detailing. It's getting cold in Chicago, probably long overdue, but the summer wheels and tires need to come off. Those are the winters on the stock blacked out R8 wheels. So this is going into winter mode. Man, Dylan's done a lot in here. It's got all the lighting, little watch zone over here, the hex lighting, which it's all over Instagram, and it just looks cool. And the thing we're gonna fix. We'll get to that in a moment. For a second of panic, I forgot, I thought I forgot the lug nuts, but I reused the stock ones, the lock. The covers, also practicality. Receive the package today. Entire front trunk is occupied. So let's get to the other main problem that I have with the R8. So in 2018, Audi introduced a black optics package. So you see the grill here, the trim, is all blacked out. If you look at a 2017 for this Gen 2 R8, it's all like the silver finish, alu optics. But for some dumb reason, the black optics package did not include black badges. So the front rings are silver. The side V10 badges are silver. You get the blacked out mirrors properly, like the trim is blacked out, but they didn't do the badges, which I think is dumb. So that, the R8 badge. So I found this, which in here we've got some OEM R8 black badges. So we're gonna swap those off. And the other thing I've decided to do is actually debadge the front. I think it looks really clean when the front rings aren't on here. So I could make them black, but I think I'm gonna try seeing what it looks like completely debadged up front. I bought these Soto Zeros for last winter and probably drove the car like four times. So they're like brand new and they weren't cheap either because apparently they share the same spec as Lamborghini winter tires. So therefore Lamborghini tax meant they're almost three grand for a set of winter tires. But that's what I have the stock wheels on. Back to the blacked out, kind of the spider design. And the signatures are gonna come off. These are the cool summer wheels. I love the color combo, light gold, with the brushed finish around there, the red calipers matching the red accents. These are OEM red stripes. A lot of people ask me if I added those, but the RWS got this graphics package inspired by the R8 GT3 or GT4. One of the liveries for the race car had that like Audi Sport livery. So that's factory for the red stripe. Look how sick these look. First wheel off, two piece wheels. First time ever doing two piece wheels. And I did the stealth hardware because I hate seeing the exposed little bolt heads on multi piece wheels. Stock wheels going back out. It's gonna look kind of weird without the gold wheels. But this is how my car came from the factory. Black wheels. And now black badges to match it. So I got super lucky with finding these on Facebook. There was a guy in the R8 group posting Black badges for sale, and I saw the post like 30 seconds after he made it, and I was like, are they OEM? And he said, yes, for $100, I got the two V10 side badges, the RA badge, front and rear rings, for $100 all in. I've been planning to do black badges at some point because I think it looks really good on a white car, but from an Audi dealership, OEM, a set of black badges is like five or $600. I asked Dylan, and he was like, yeah, it's like 550. I was like, wait, what just for badges? So. I procrastinated because I just 
didn't feel like doing it. So getting the deal for $100 OEM, I was like, I kinda gotta do it. So I grabbed them. So I got really lucky with that. And now we're gonna put them on. I have no idea. Something it involves fishing wire and cleaning off the adhesive and putting them back on. But uh, so I guess I'll learn how to do that. I probably could have figured it out myself, but the car needed to be washed. It needed to have the wheels swapped off for the winter tires. Might as well get it all done here at Dynamic Detailing. Audi gives you these black plastic covers for the lug nuts, so it's all blacked out. I didn't run these on the gold signature wheels because just clashed kind of weirdly, so now they're back in the stock wheels. These can go back in, they just kind of press in. Very, very sophisticated, very fancy. You know? Look who I found, it's a Dylan. Eddie's out here getting a wash, the yeah. wheel swap. I haven't seen you in like a year. It's been a minute. I think you avoid me. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you avoid me. <laughs> That's not true. Wheels are off. The car is getting a bath. This is actually a nice cool system. Like this little divider so you can wash a car in a bigger warehouse and not just get water everywhere. That's nifty. I have dinner plans downtown at 645 and there's quite a bit of a drive. So we may or may not be doing badges today. We'll see. Because apparently it's either it goes really well or it goes terribly. So we might have to come back for that. In which case this video gets continued later. So more things, this, this key fob battery, it is completely dead, so I gotta replace that. I am running late for dinner, so we're gonna find another time to replace the black badges, so this video will continue then. Thanks again, Dylan, the whole dynamic detailing team. The art is clean, it was absolutely filthy, and now off to eat some steak, which is always a good way to spend a Tuesday night. So it's like a month later, and we're back with Dylan at Dynamic Detailing. It's been a month because I was traveling all over the place, and the Ari is now gonna get the black badges. It's about time. About time. Well, actually, technically not even now. It's gonna happen over the course of next week because I'm about to go fly off to LA. We're gonna leave the car here. It needs a bath because it's been driven in the snow and salt, so it's it's kind of filthy. Dylan's gonna do the side and rear badges. So I have the V10 badges in black, all the OEM ones, and then the rear badges too. The R8 logo, the rear rings. He's gonna do those while I'm gone and the car is gonna get clean because, yeah, this poor thing is very dirty and pretty salty because the roads have been horrendous. So he's gonna clean up and then he's gonna leave the front one because I wanna show the whole process. So we'll insert some clips of the rear badges, the car being washed, all those cool shots. And then when I'm back, we'll just go through the process of the front badge coming off cleaning up, putting the new badge on, and we'll have full black optics on the R8 when I return. You look cold. It's cold. It's cold. I'm going to LA, it's less cold there. I thought it was gonna be a nice Friday, but uh, it wasn't thanks to Eddie. What happened? The badges were just a pain. They were stuck to the PPF, so struggled with it a little bit, getting all the glue off, but. You don't like the camera, do you? Come here, no, come here, you can smell me. Dylan, you're the best, it's like 10.30. I just landed. It's like 10:30. I just landed from Arizona, and he is here late at night, so I can get my arms. Just, just for me. Just for me. Let's make it best. All right. That's special customer service. Okay. So the R8 now has black badges and has become a Carrera GTS. Not, not actually. <gasps> that looks really good, though. Oh, that looks really good. This is how it should have come from the factory because, like I said, black optics grill, everything else, but the badges were silver. That looks awesome. So it was a pain in the ass. But it's worth it. But it's worth it because it, it looks oh. good, right? Like, that's awesome. And then we have the side V10 badges. Okay, that's perfect. It matches the mirrors. That looks awesome. And then coming around back. Oh, yeah. That's how it should have been from the factory. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so this was fine because there's no PPF on the back. Yeah, whoever did it, like, super heated the uh, badges to the film. Oh. So it was kind of, like, melted together. But oh, figured it out. okay. So the process is you pull off the factory ones and you kind of polish out the paint, clean it up, and then the new badges go on with adhesive. How did you template? Did you just like do the tape method? Uh, tape and measuring. Tape and measuring. So you have them still set. They look exactly like they were, they were originally, but I have front PPF on the car. So this piece obviously had PPF, but I mean, it looks like you figured it out because it looks perfectly fine to me. It was just more the glue was melted like on there. Oh, so it's hard to get the glue off the PPF. Hard to get the glue, like, off the PPF. Oh, man. See, at least he solved it. If it would happen to me, it'd be like, oh, my, it's over. Just buy a new car. Not, not actually, but that looks awesome. Thank you, Dylan Dynamic Detailing. I love you. You're the best. I do better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll pick this back up later and wrap up this video. I got to head home because it is super late. He's sniffing me now. Now, now you're friendly? I'm waiting for him to lift his leg. And oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah,
exhaust and there's Dylan holding <laughs> Back home now, I've got the R8 in the garage, nice and clean and with the full black badges. Really just how it should have come from the factory. I did leave the front badges on. I was debating debadging the front. Some people have done it on the new gen of R8s and it looks pretty clean. It's on the hood right there, obviously, uh, but I'm happy I left it. I think it looks pretty nice. Closer look here, the blacked out rings. And then we've got the V10 badges here on the side. Although every single Gen 2 is a V10, right? The V8 was a Gen 1 and Gen 1 refresh only. All of them are V10. And then coming around to the back, we have the R8 badge and Audi. Got super lucky. These are OEM badges that were like so cheap. I forget how much I paid. Like very, very cheap. Like a fraction of what they would have cost to go from the dealership. So some guy just got lucky on Facebook and the Audi group was like selling them. And I was like, oh, dibs. I will take them. We also have something cool that showed up from carcover.com, which obviously is a car cover. So we're gonna open that up, see what it's like. I've tried on the car. The black satin car cover from carcover.com. So the Shelby, I have the OEM car cover. The R8, I didn't get one. I got an OEM car cover for the Z06, but this was the last one out. So I figured, all right, let's try it out. So let's go ahead and open up this package. It's actually kind of hard one-handed. Try not to hurt myself. There you go. Looks like, oh, it comes in a nice little storage bag. Okay. Already impressed so far. Just a nice black bag here. Let's open her up. Ooh, that is very soft. So this is the indoor car cover, the black satin one. Thought it looked pretty cool. Black instead of gray. That is like super high quality. It's fitted for the cars he specified. Your make model is like 2018, Audi R8 coupe. I uh, don't have the V10 Plus wing, so you can specify that. They have a ton of different car covers. You can just go on the website, figure that out. All right, so the car did get washed, so it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna try putting this on. A scrunchie. This is like putting a fitted sheet on a car, which hopefully is easier on a car than this on a bed. Usually the mirror holes are helpful in figuring out which side is which. Uh, front, I had it completely backwards. It's very stretchy. Right. And just like that, the R8 is under the cover. Fits really nice. You can see kind of how that line, the seam, just follows the, the body shape of the R8. Fully covered and protected. If I were to leave the car for a month, or maybe the whole winter parked away, I definitely would do that. And it's just subtle, right? There's no branding. I had one for my first gen R8 that had this giant like R8 stripe on it and the logo and everything. Although that one did have a cool thing. It had like a little window for the license plate. My assumption was that was for people who had so many cars in their garages that they couldn't tell what was what under the car cover. I obviously know that's the R8 and that's a Shelby, but there we go. Carcover.com, satin black indoor car cover. It's nice. This is actually really cool. With the cover stretched tight on the car, you can see the outline of the Audi rings right there. It looks like in a video game when you haven't unlocked the car yet, so just a big black blob. Put a big question mark on it. So I have a discount code for carcover.com. It's eddiex20. I'll also link it down below. You get a discount. Get yourself a car cover. I really like this satin black indoor one. It feels really nice. It fits really well. It's tailored to your vehicle. Honestly, this is substantially nicer than the OEM car cover that came with my Shelby 350R and better than the OEM car cover that I got with my first gen R8, which was like that kind of more plasticky feel. It was probably an outdoor car cover, but I, the cars live inside right now. So when they're clean, I would much rather have this nice soft thing to protect it. Make sure your car is clean before you put a car cover on because if you put a car cover on a dirty car, you might as well just sandpaper your paint probably, right? There's That's the whole point of the cover is to protect it. Anyways, if the R8 was gonna live here for the winter, it would just be under this car cover, but I'm the crazy guy who drives his rear wheel drive R8 in the snow. It is on Soto Zeros. That's my winter car because it makes more sense to drive this than it does the Shelby, as ridiculous of a statement that sounds. So, couple of R8 updates, still running great. Love the car. Z06 is awesome though. Anyways, the R8 is awesome. Daily driver in the winter, Soto Zeros. Black badges are on, winter tires are on. I gotta go pick up the summer tires, the signature forge wheels at some point and stack them here in the garage. Otherwise, just a quick update on the R8. Make sure you check out the link below. Get yourself a car cover from carcover.com. Thanks for watching.